Unanimous consent to address the House for one day. Without objection, the gentlelady is recognized. Thank you. Now, it's day two of the Trump shutdown the first government shutdown in history when one party has control of the House, the Senate, and the White House. But I believe that the issues at the heart of this debate actually have support from majority of Americans and a majority in Congress. So I ask my Republican colleagues, who are the 218 Republicans who would vote against funding community health centers as well as the Children's Health Insurance Program? Who are the 218 Republicans who oppose addressing veterans' programs, workers' pensions, and the opioid epidemic? And yes, who are the 218 Republicans who would vote against the Young DACA recipients and the DREAM Act? We don't lack votes. We lack a willingness from the President, from President Trump and Republican leadership to negotiate. I am here, we are here, ready to work. The Democrats want to come together with the Republicans on a bipartisan deal to end the Trump shutdown. And Mr. Uh, Speaker, I have a unanimous consent request. The chair is listening. Mr. Speaker, I ask unanimous consent to bring up H.R. 4872. The End the Shutdown Act of 2018, a continuing resolution that would immediately reopen the government through Tuesday while negotiating continues on a budget agreement that addresses uh, parity on other cri critical issues. Thank you. In regard, the gentlelady's one minute is time has expired. In regard to her unanimous consent request, as the chair has previously advised, that request cannot be entertained absent appropriate clearance. For what purposes, the gentleman from Texas?